Good morning to everybody across the island of Anglesey. It's my privilege to um, greet you all on this beautiful morning, beautiful weather that we're having. So greetings to people up in the north of Ang Anglesey and at uh, Amluk, near Biamaras, Bentlick, Collyhead, Pengevney, Manibridge, Ross Niger. That sounds like an alphabetical order or something. So we send greetings, especially in thoughts and prayers to all who are unwell and isolated at this time. I'd like us to remember David Crockett from the Kengevni area phoned me yesterday, say that when his wife is now in a care home. So let's remember David and Gwen at this time. Apologies that I don't think Gwen's name is on our unwell list, so it will be up next week. To remember uh, those who have died, died recently, four of our oblates over in Dublin have died in the last six weeks. And in the last week, uh, Father Frank Morrissey out in Canada has died. Father Frank is well known to many of us for the talks he gave in Whiston Hall and Crew. He was an expert in canon law. But always interpreted canon law in a pastoral way with care and with humanity. So we pray for Frank that he's with the Lord. We keep in our thoughts and prayers all the health staff around the country, other key workers as well. I see the Thursday clapping has finished. Maybe we should all start a campaign now to get better working conditions and salaries for all of our key workers, especially the NHS. I looked at my diary during the week to discover that we were all supposed to meet at the Buckley Hotel tomorrow, Saturday, for our assembly. Over 100 people were supposed to come to that. Sadly, it had to be postponed due to the present virus. I had a call from Father Oliver Barry, our provincial, during the week. And Oliver was very disappointed that the assembly couldn't take place. But uh, he certainly says he looks forward to whatever it is put back on the agenda, that he would certainly want to be with us for that day. So that's the assembly. I've been to quite a few of these Zoom meetings in recent times. Zoom is this new fad and technology that uh, numerous people can chat together on a computer screen. I don't think there's any limit of the numbers almost. It just dawns on me that it would be great if um, each community across our island could set up a Zoom system. It's easy to do, Emily. The details are, I think, on our website anyway. That somebody would need to be a host. So it would be good to keep in, uh, in our thoughts and to greet people virtually, if not physically, and uh, to keep in touch, especially with people who feel isolated and alone as well. So maybe somebody would come up with that idea in each of the seven communities. For Francis, has asked us to keep this year for Laudato Si, care of the earth, care of our planet. You know, in this lockdown time, we're much more aware of the world about us, nature about us, the beauty of nature about us as well. So the coming year, I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it's mentioned in the newsletter here as well, there's a note there from the bishop about this man called Matthew Bond, who is a student for the priesthood in Rome, working at the Beta College in Rome, uh, looking for testimonials regarding this man. I don't know Matthew Bond. I don't know where he's from. I presume he's from this part of the diocese somewhere. But testimonials mean that if you have anything good to say about this man, that he should be ordained, or if you've anything negative to say about this man that he should not be ordained, you're asked to contact Bishop Peter at Bishop's house. 
This is standard practice, you see, it's like bands of married that we used to have before. So we're now coming up to the end of the Easter season of Pentecost this Sunday. Ironic that uh, the Acts of the Apostles has, says, when Pentecost Day came around, they were all gathered together in one room, along with women and Mary. Ironic, in this virus time that people should be cocooned, and yet the Spirit comes to these people and suddenly they find themselves out in the streets, in the road, people understanding their message. You know, it's, it's one of the things this, this virus has brought us is that um, we're all speaking a new kind of language now that pe everybody understands. And it's, so it's good. That's for Pentecost for me. So we start back ordinary time on Monday. So I'm just going to conclude this with the prayer I see it here in the newsletter. Loving God, creator of heaven and earth, and all therein contained, open our minds and touch our hearts so that we can be part of creation, your gift. Be present to those in need in these difficult times, especially the poorest and most vulnerable. Help us to show creative solidarity as we confront the consequences of the global pandemic. Make us courageous in embracing the challenges required to seek the common good. Now more than ever, may we all feel interconnected and interdependent. Enable us to succeed in listening and responding to the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. May their current sufferings become the birth pangs of a more fraternal and sustainable world. We pray through Christ our Lord under the loving gaze of Mary, help the Christians. Amen. Have a good week. Stay well, stay safe. Thank you. Bye.